Okay, left Hurlstone Point. I'm mixing the cameras quite a lot. Um, the other one's just, battery's just died, so I'm having to fit on the end of this walk. It's got to go on my new camera, which was the start of the walk, and up to the church, Selworthy Church. Then an old camera I started <sighs> after Selworthy Church. I put on the old camera, but it's only just packed up when I got to Hurlston Point. <laughs> So I thought, well, I probably won't be doing this again. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. I mean, so many places I've visited now. And uh, I never go back. So, you know, you have to capture it all while you're here. Do you know what I mean? So this is a little track. This is deja vu a bit. This time yesterday, or a bit earlier, I uh, I was all right going this way, but I wasn't quite sure. Um, nobody seemed to know if I could get in the fields and go across. There's a bit of confusion. And, and I did actually, the last mile, I did actually get lost in an orchard, believe it or not. And I was so tired and exhausted by then. Um, and I just couldn't be bothered to look in the map. Or In the end, some woman must have passed him with a dog <coughs> and rescued me. <laughs> I would have got out of it eventually. But um, I can sometimes have these mini panic attacks. Very rare, but I do have them occasionally. And uh, so this is a bit like deja vu because I'm going to be not exactly retracing my steps. I'm not going to go down that lane where the three gates were. No. Now when I met an old couple, I met several old couples yesterday. One said, take the first turn on the left. But their husband said, no, go on a bit further. And that's what I should have done yesterday, gone on a bit further and took the second turning on the left. So we're coming up to Bosington Village in a minute. I don't expect anything will be open now. Um, I've had a really big hike, actually. Um, left at 10 o'clock. It's now 6 o'clock. Eight hours. Big hike, another big hike. This one's... Not quite as big as yesterday's, but this is just finishing off the walk. Little views of the beacon every now and again. Um, this is just leading me down to a stream in a minute. That's when the camera went dead as well, actually, at the stream. Um, I'm going to do the same tomorrow. I'm not going to get up dead early and go out. I'm going to make sure I have my good sleep, have my breakfast, and then I'm going to try and do the other side of the A39 over on the Brecon, over on the Dunkery Beacon side. I'm not doing Dunkery Beacon, but there's an ancient wood over there called Horner Wood, I think it's called. And I thought I might do that. Just do that wood. And maybe if there's somewhere I can have a tea, I might stop and have tea and sandwiches again. I've got to get some money up the hole in the wall. Okay. So here we are. The sun's about to set behind the hill over Porlock Weir there. The sun is gradually going, it's not going down yet. It's a good half an hour yet, but it's going down over that hill near Porlock Weir, where I was on my first day here. I mean, when I'm at home, I don't normally go to bed till about midnight, one o'clock in the morning. I'm often restless. 
<coughs> but coming out here, I feel... Oh, I just feel... Breathing's better. Um, everything, really. Everything's better. I'm not eating good food, though. I'm eating out of tins. But that's what I do. It's camping. It's my camping diet. And I quite like it. Like tonight, I'm having um, chicken casserole and potatoes with bread and butter. And I've got... Um, I've got a pudding I must eat. Otherwise, I might have to throw it out. And then oh, I've got tinned fruit. Might have a can of tin fruit. In fact, I ought to take... No, it's weight. I've cut down. I didn't even take the jelly today, which is unusual. But I didn't think I was going far. <laughs> oh, dear. I did do a bit of exploring. Found one thing, but didn't find... Well, I didn't really look properly in the end. I thought I can't. I, there's not enough time. And that was... um. A castle near so so worthy, and um, Lady Ackland's hut, which was like a summer place that she had. It wasn't far, but by then I knew I had to start heading back because all this takes time. You can see as that sun goes down over that hill, the darkness is creeping in. It'll definitely be dark in a, in an hour's time. I got a walk. I kind of remember how long this walk was yesterday when I'd done it. That's how disorientated I was. And there were lots of people about. It was quite busy. But nobody could give me proper directions. It was really weird. <sighs> about three different people, three couples, all gave me different directions. It was like weird. <sighs> I'm still enjoying it though. I know I get a bit flustered now and again. Um, I get annoyed, really, when this... Especially when you know, the information is misleading. It can be. Um, they've got to put their self... Whoever writes it and constructs the information should really put themselves in the eyes of someone who's never been there before. Okay? You can't just assume that every track, they're not going to think, oh, is it that one? You know, they, you didn't put any distances on that. Nothing. You didn't say it was a steep hill. Nothing as references. That's what annoyed me about the whole thing. All right, we should be coming to a stream in a minute, I think. This this is turning out longer than I thought. Ah, it's all good fun, though, Sheila. I bet the. I bet you only think this will go. The moment I get near the stream, this will conk out again. Oh! Oh! There's a bee. It touched me on the arm. It was probably one of those guards. He could see I was friendly. He left me alone. It was big. It touched me on the arm. God, this is getting dark now, isn't it? I can hear the stream. Yeah, I can see the village now. I can see the village now. It's quite dark when I'm going along, I expect. There you go. A few I might not... Well, I'm not saying I'll never see it again. You, you, I can't tell. But yesterday was bright sunshine, so I'm off, obviously later today. But I went out later. And there's the brook going out to sea. That girl went up that hill. But the thing is, it's a set, but not, it's the hill blocks of you. This is my visit to Porlock, everyone, in the surrounding villages. And I haven't seen one deer. I've only seen a squirrel. I've seen some hawks. Um, oh, look at this. I can see the bridge now. 
I was here oh, half past ten this morning. I got here on that bridge. I didn't come this way. I, t I turned off when I got to that bridge and went towards Al Alaford. But yesterday, like I said, I missed this. The camera went dead. Yeah, look at that. And there's a little bridge up there. I'm just going to turn off and take a photo. Right. We're walking down a permitted footpath, retracing the steps from this morning. I decided I wouldn't even try and go near that orchard now. Um, I'm just hoping I don't forget the way in a minute. That's uh, I thought I'd video it. I don't know if it, what it'll come out like, but it's like um, there's the hill behind, what Bosington Beacon. Bossington Hill and uh, there might be somebody sat up on the top. Let me have a look Where I was sat earlier. There's seats Is that somebody? I met a young girl by woman Not old She was going up there with her tripod and all her equipment She was climbing up the steep bit to go and capture the sun sunset she was climbing up the rugged steep bit. Now that was well signposted back there, wasn't it? I don't mind. That I'm not panicking like I was last night. I'm quite relaxed, actually. I just thought I'd video this bit. It was difficult to video this morning. I did bits. But there was always somebody in the way. As could happen in a minute. If somebody takes their dogs out. I just noticed um, there weren't a great deal of people out today. Not really. Not compared to, um, well, there weren't a huge numbers even out on yesterday's walk. Not really. But I feel like I've been here ages now. I haven't stopped walking since I've been here. It's definitely a place I would come again. Um, because you don't really have to have a car, a vehicle. You could, if you want, if you had a good tent, you could do it, and you could still have your electric blanket because they do have hookups. <sighs> I haven't had to use it. I've been really cosy at night. I've got. I, well, I have put it on for a little while. Um. Not the electric blanket, the fire first thing in the morning. Now this is where I got a feeling I might forget. I got a feeling I've got to go down a bit further yet. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't go in there. There's a bloke standing right on top of the the old tower at um, Hellstone. Oh, he's got down now. There was a, a man up there earlier. He was standing up there for ages. Yeah, I've been up there. Taking a good look at it. Really good look all round this beautiful Porlock Bay. I mean, look at that scene there, for example. You've got Porlock Weir over there, and then I walked all the way round to where I had more close-up views of those outcrops there. Oh, it feels really calm. It, it might have been okay to go down and walk down that way. I might do that tomorrow night, actually, if I didn't get back too late. I might um, do a Yeah, I might do 
a walkout. I, that's the first thing I did when I got here. I walked out. So sometimes it's nice to go back to the first thing you've done. So this is Sheila, heading back into Porlock now. You can soon forget, though, which turning you took, if you aren't careful. Do you know what I mean? Because, I mean, I was concentrating on getting to that gate there. In a minute, we turn off and we go across the field. That's quite a nice walk and there'll be nice views. When I get up there, there'll be nice views. I'll just turn off for a minute. <laughs> 